Hi guys. Good morning guys. Guess what? It's a long weekend. It's an extra long weekend for us because we <laughs> even have Tuesday off. So it's Australia Day long weekend and yeah. we are heading to Byron. We're staying in Federal which is a bit out of Byron. Yeah, but the Byron Bay area. Yeah, but we're flying into the Gold Coast. Yes, so to the, this afternoon, a bit later, we're going to be trying out some keto fish and chips on the Gold Coast. I there. am really excited about <laughs> excited it. About we that. will show you when we get there, but we're going to a place called Jolly Rogers that has keto crumbed fish and like zucchini chips that also look crumbed. So we're really excited. I hope it's as good as yes. so what I very, think it'll be. We're very excited about what lays ahead. But first of all, we have to do the job of taking our little baby Scout and Gem, our cats, over to Grandma's place. Yeah, so they go to Erica's <laughs> mum and dad's and they stay in the garage, um, which is quite big and they're very happy in there. But the hardest part is wrangling them into the cages because they obviously they, they don't do like not going like the little there. cat carriers or the car trips. So. And Gem still has the cone on, so yes. <laughs> Interesting Let's not times talk about it. <laughs> we got one. Get your butt in there. Yes. Get your scratch. <laughs> yes. Also, super glad we had to do this in the rain. But anyway, oh. Scout also attacked Erica while she was in her arms, so she's got some scratches. They don't like being in the car, do they? Scout's just heading into her favourite little spot and Gem can't fit there so with the cone on so she's just manning the front. So they're all dropped off. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. So we're just going to go and grab Erica a coffee from our favourite place, Mockingbird. It's been featured before um, and then we're going to go home and have breakfast. So it's quarter to 11 now. Um, so breakfast will probably be about 11.30, I reckon. Okay, I'm just trying to use up what we had open in the fridge. So there was a bit of onion and some salami, eggs, and a bit of jalapeno. Don't tell Dan though, because she'll say it's too spicy. I'm just going to scramble that up. And we'll have that for brunch. Thanks for brekkie. Who did we make it to? Yeah, quarter to oh. quarter to twelve. Turn off my fast. Oh again. yeah, I need to do that too. This looks delicious. Oh my gosh, we're <laughs> forty-five seconds off seventeen hours. I think we'll wait it out. <laughs> I just never had a sip of my coffee. No. <laughs> I want you to try it to see if it tastes nice. It's, we're doing like a countdown here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. No, how are you ahead of me? You even forgot to put yours on. Well, try it. Let us know. I haven't tasted it, so I don't know if it tastes any good. But... I did hear there was jalapenos in it. <laughs> and salami. Mmm. Yum. Pretty good for a throw together. Not bad. 17 hours. So, our first kind of Newcastle vlog came out today and there was a question on there that I thought we'd take the opportunity to answer. We have had this question a couple of times. People are pretty intrigued about what we do for our real jobs because this YouTube and <laughs> the website don't really, they're not our real jobs anyway. So 
For me, I work as an audiometrist, so I test people's hearing, I fit them with hearing aids, um, anything around ears and hearing is what I do, 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, pretty much. Yes, and I work for a call centre doing their quality assurance, so aka the most boring job in the world, but basically how... You know, when you call somewhere and it says, this call may be recorded for training quality, but well it is, and I'm the one listening and giving feedback to consultants on how they went on the call. Yeah, so not super interesting jobs, but we put a lot of time and effort into Have Butter Will Travel as well. So really, it's our favourite job. We kind of work <laughs> full-time on both of those things. <laughs> so now we're just going to kind of potter around get ready to go we're gonna pack we've got a couple of hours so we'll just pack our stuff up um, get ready to head to the airport to go we fly into the Gold Coast so yeah all right so we are just packing up our stuff I've got the suitcase I've already put my stuff in my packing cube <laughs> And Erica is, what have you got there? I'm just gathering things from around the house like a bowbird, but I thought, how cute is this? I got it for Christmas. It's a cat in Hawaii. Um, pop this in your backpack in case we stop at the shops or anything once we get there, maybe. And then I just grabbed out some things out of the cupboard that we might want to take. So these Keto Kitchen Corner crackers and some olives just in case we have kind of like a snacky meal at the airbnb these because they're delicious macadamias and some vitaworks white chocolate all of this came from low carb emporium and i'll put a discount code in the description but yeah just some things to take with us to keep us on track <laughs> it's got to be 20 kilos guys so there might be some sacrifices that need to be made this is uh, one suitcase two people three nights can we get it under 20 kilos not the best packers it feels heavy moment of truth I'm not confident Twenty-one point seven. Ooh. Okay, let's try that again. All we did was took the books out and put them in carry-on because we've got two seven kilos carry-on. So nineteen. <laughs> two kilos. No shopping. Books. No shopping. <laughs> I think we're right on the edge of <laughs> Jetstar. <laughs> Jetstar adherence. <laughs> we'll be the people unpacking at the gate. <laughs> it's been done before. <laughs> Gold Coast Airport, it's a bit of a hectic mess. This is the calm part, but inside beyond the gates, there were so many people. The Jetstar lady said there was 1,200 people all in this tiny little airport. Wow, long weekend on the Gold Coast. Crazy. It is busy here. We're just waiting to pick up our Rental car rental that car. I made an error on, so thankfully... They're fixing it, they're fixing it. I will say, it is totally worth being a preferred member of whatever um, car rental you prefer. We it doesn't prefer cost anything. Avis, you just sign up, 
and because I'm a preferred member, they are fixing my mistake. Because <laughs> I accidentally booked a manual. I can drive a manual, but I prefer not to. So he's sorting me out with a um, auto. So nice. It's w it's worth it. All you have to do is go online and yeah, you just sign, sign up, up and make a profile, and then you don't a have lot to of wait times, in yeah, when you go to pick up your car at the airport you don't have to line up at the desk normally they just have a sign and it tells you like go to your, your car, name your what bay and the car the keys are already in there so it does save a lot of time at the airport normally and you don't have to do all the paperwork that you have yes. to do when you rent a car because you've already it's all saved all in once. your profile yeah it's all yeah. in your profile so it's so highly good. recommend you just show your license done we're on the road we are on our way to miami sounds fancy doesn't I know, it i know um, we're in the Gold Coast, guys. We're not in America. We're not in Florida. <laughs> um, to find these keto fish and chips. Yes. So the, the expectations place, are high. So the place is called the Jolly Roger, and it does like a piece of fried fish with like a crumb that's keto friendly. I think it's maybe almonds and zucchini chips. So we are going to suss it out and have a bit of an early dinner before we head on down towards Byron. We're here guys. This is the Jolly Roger Fish and Chips. So excited. <laughs> so we've ordered um, the keto fish and chips, which we mentioned before is crumbed um, fish in a keto crumb and zucchini chips and what was the other thing we ordered? the other one was crumbed prawns and chips yeah and we've talked to the um the people that own it they're and so lovely they're really cute and yeah. they um have had lots of people coming here ordering the keto um fish and chips Where they, they've got to be the only people doing like, it in the I've whole of australia i've literally never seen that before so we've got to support these guys because they're making the effort and if we don't yeah. support them they won't be able to keep this stuff on the menu. So come and check it out. It's in Miami on the Gold Coast. It's a little bit off the beaten track, I will say. Like if you're holidaying on the Gold Coast. But if you have a car far. and if you're in Brisbane coming down to Gold Coast for the day or something, lunch well, here would see. work. Let's see what it looks like well, when it comes. We're pretty excited, so <laughs> let's see how we go. <laughs> you guys, look, at this. look how good this looks. So we've got the prawns fish and zucchini. And the prawns, yeah. Yeah, you can try. I'll have a little bit of the fish. Oops. Actually, pretty crunchy. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Worth the detour? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't buy fish and chips mm -hmm. with a crunch. Like, you can buy grilled fish, maybe. Not quite the same, though. But it was good. It was really good. And they were so friendly. Oh, they were lovely. And they're try really trying to grow the keto market. They were asking us about, you know, what would be a good burger option. And, you know, offering lettuce wrapped burgers would be an easy thing to do as well. So, yeah, really, really awesome. Um, definitely check it out if you're on the Gold Coast. That felt like such a treat, having fish and chips. And I was pleasantly surprised with the zucchini chips, would you say? Yeah, I was like, oh, are they going to be yeah, a bit like, soggy? It's still zucchini. Or, that's and it was still <laughs> zucchini, but they were really nice. They weren't crunchy. But they were They were nice because it felt like you were having a chip. Yeah, it did, yeah. Very cool, nice little detour, and now we're gonna head down towards uh, Byron Bay where we're gonna go to our Airbnb. It's like a little cabin yeah. kind of thing. And it's so like lush and green and tropical. And the sounds, it sounds all like 
rainforest. It's in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> but it's cool because that's kind of what we wanted. Yeah, and it came when we we're driving in. We we're coming through all these beautiful, like rolling green hills and, and a farms forest and, and forests. Yeah, it was really cool. But we're gonna show you our Airbnb first off, though. I think we need to check out the pool. The pool. How cool is this pool? I'm so looking forward to it. It's supposed to be um, nice and sunny tomorrow. So we will come down here, hopefully go for a swim. And it has like the best outlook. And there's like a little stream down there. It just looks absolutely beautiful. I think we're going to have a pretty good time here. So welcome to our little cottage. In addition to this. Super cute little veranda and pool. We have this little one bedroom cottage, which is so cute. I love the way it's decorated. So it's a nice big TV, beautiful little kitchen. How quirky is all the furniture and everything? Love it. Um, nice comfy couch. Now we love staying in Airbnbs if you've watched any of our videos before. So we'll put a link to this one in the description below and definitely sign up for Airbnb using our link because then you'll get a discount and we'll get a little credit as well. So we would really appreciate it. How comfy does this bed look? <laughs> I think we're going to have a very good night's sleep. It's so like, I feel like Quiet. I can feel the serenity. <laughs> and then we've got a bathroom, which I love the tiles. Yeah, the tiles are really cool. And it's just been really nicely done. So a shower, toilet, just the essentials. Well, what a day. Yeah, I'm so glad that we're here. It just feels so peaceful already, just being surrounded by all of this nature. So I think we're going to have a really relaxing weekend. But make sure you subscribe to our channel because we're going to have a couple of more videos coming out of us exploring this area. I saw a sign on the way that said Crystal Castle. So oh my God. we're going there. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to go and watch a movie and relax. relax and we will do another video tomorrow so make sure you follow along with what we do while we're up in the byron kind of area thanks so much for watching guys bye, bye.